Hi Vlad, I think the first thing you might notice that's new about the Xperia Z1 is the design. You've just seen the aluminium frame and the solid aluminium block it comes from. Here it is crafted around the edge of the device, the familiar aluminium on and off button, now a hard camera key and a beautiful aluminium design around the outside. And your headphone jack is now exposed, whereas previously you had a flat one. Our headphone jack is now exposed, but the device is waterproof. So you can still drop the Xperia Z1 into up to 1.5 meters of water, leave it there for 30 minutes if you like, and take it out happily. The water jack will simply fill up. The, the, the audio jack will simply fill up with water, but it'll still work. All right. And the other big new improvements, you have the new triluminous display technology, which you introduced with your Bravia TVs. Exactly, so in that 5 inch full HD 1080p screen now is a triluminous display straight from our Bravia technologies that gives you the best colour ever, a wider range of colours and with the X-Reality engine for mobile which is operating lower resolution footage to make it even sharper on this full HD screen. Alright, and you have a new 20 megapixel camera on the back. Absolutely, so in this new Xperia Z1 smartphone we've brought the very best of Sony's imaging capability into a smartphone. So that includes the Sony G Lens, which comes from our Cybershot division, includes the Bions processing engine and Exmor RS sensor. And it's that combination of the lens, the sensor and the processing engine, which will give you the best overall images of any leading smartphone. So we've got three times clear zoom. So if you go into the camera, and I can perhaps show you here on this one. Here's the camera. If I zoom in, which you can see me zooming in, you can see the bar here on the left hand side up to around there, which is three times zoom, you retain the sharp pictures. And that's done by that combination, the lens, the processing engine and the sensor, all of which are unique to Sony. Okay, and in terms of physical dimensions, the Xperia Z is a tiny bit smaller than this, even though they have the same uh, screen size. Can you tell us why the new Z1 is a bit bigger? Yeah, it's a very little bit bigger, but it feels uh, very comfortable in your hand due to the new bevel that we have on the outside with the aluminium frame. Um, the slight increase in the size is a, is a result of the, the strong camera capability we put in the device. The increased size of the sensor, which is going to give you those super sharp pictures from the 20 megapixel camera, gives you a very slight offset in size. But I think if I hold the Xperia Z and the Xperia Z1 together, you can see the size is very, very similar. Yeah. And as you can see, we have, you're going to have it in black, purple and white. Uh, when is it going to be available and where? So you can buy this all over the world. Um, this product will, will be announced at IFA on the 4th of September and you can buy that um, across the world before the end of September. Release dates will vary by market, but if you really want one, you can certainly get your hands on one before the end of September. Does that include the United States? So we're still to reach agreements with carriers in the US about how we bring this product to market, but you will be able to access the product through Sony stores in the US. And will the pricing be similar to the Xperia Z? Yeah, this is a premium smartphone. It brings the very best of Sony together, as you said, Vlad, our best screen, our best camera, our best audio, design and waterproof technology. So it is a similar pricing position as the Xperia Z.